Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mark Dixon. All right, while we are tracking rain across the state, we're also, of course, monitoring the situation on, along the Housatonic River and as well the, the uh, Connecticut River, uh, as uh, we've seen them in flood stage or above, I should say, over the past a couple of days, and the rain that we're receiving now could uh, make the situation worse. Uh, so we'll be watching that. But we've got early warning pinpoint Doppler zoomed in here to, uh, say, Hartford County. You can see 9184 uh, traveling in and around the Hartford metro area. Rain coming down at a pretty good clip. You see those yellows and those oranges, even some reds popping up, indicating uh, some of that heavier rain. Uh, as we broaden the view, you can see the general motion here is from the southwest to the northeast as the line itself moves in uh, from the west, pushing to the east. Uh, throughout southern Litchfield County, also tracking some heavier rain there. Litchfield, Washington, around Thomaston, also Morris and Woodbury. So basically what you see here is what's on tap for the rest of the day. Uh, temperatures, though, will continue their upward progression. We're in the mid and upper 40s along the northwest of 84. South of 84, we're well into the mid and upper 50s and will likely well exceed the 60 degree mark as our winds become more southeasterly, bringing in a milder air mass and eventually the wind really gets cranky in this afternoon as well. So here's future cast with regard to temperatures as we head towards a four o'clock this afternoon. Notice how the 60s work as far north as I-84, well into the 60s, coastal southeast Connecticut, but likely stuck in the mid and upper 50s in the northwest hills. And the rain it is going to be with us for several more hours. In fact, right on through the evening commute. So we can see off to our west, it continues working in our direction. More rain across Pennsylvania, back across New Jersey, all heading up in our direction. So it's all part of a storm system. Uh, right now, we've got a cold front to our west. Later on this evening, it begins pushing through southern New England. So in advance of that, the wind picks up out of the south. And then behind the front, the wind switches to the west and northwest, and some drier air begins to filter into the state. So with regard to the threat for severe weather, the Storm Prediction Center has outlined areas from southern Jersey through the Delmarva Peninsula down to the Mid-Atlantic uh, state. So while we may get a rumble or two of thunder here and have some heavier rain to contend with, uh, the greatest threat for severe weather is well southwest of Connecticut. So at least some good news there. But we'll be monitoring the situation, of course, all afternoon. Here's future cash showing the rain continuing to overspread southern New England. 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon, perhaps some rumbles of thunder. And as we head toward and through the evening commute, uh, conditions start to improve from west to east. Here's 7 o'clock in the evening, most of the rain beginning to clear out of eastern Connecticut. Then clearing takes place thereafter. The clouds erode and overnight tonight will go mainly clear. Tomorrow, our Wednesday, will start off with sunshine in the morning. And then uh, while we'll be mainly clear through the uh, middle part of the day, a few clouds begin to increase as we head toward the evening. But dry weather on tap for our day tomorrow. Now, uh, for this afternoon, again, the wind, it could get really cranking, say 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts. That's the case, say, 3 o'clock, 4 or 5 o'clock this evening, and then those winds will start to diminish as that front again moves offshore. So on our early warning seven-day forecast, a couple of dry days on tap. Tomorrow, temperatures still running about 5 degrees above average, low 60s with some sunshine. And then for Thursday, breezy mid-50s. Now Friday, that's when our next storm system takes aim on southern New England. Clouds will be on the increase. Chances for rain go up as we head through Friday afternoon. Rain could be heavy at times Friday night, likely wrapping up by daybreak Saturday, then the, the weekend looking good, but cooler. Highs in the mid 40s, good amount of sunshine for both days. Saturday will be windy, and then Sunday less wind. Then another storm system likely moves in late Monday into Tuesday of next week. A coastal storm will be watching that situation. Meanwhile, for shoreline communities, low 60s today and tomorrow, then into the 50s for Thursday and Friday.